I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over and make a mistake. That often cripples people on the onset of getting into anything. Neither of us will touch the sky if we give ourselves boundaries. You always have possibilities. I'm not a popular actor. I don't necessarily want to be famous. I want to be known for great work. I want to be known to surprise audiences. Work hard, sleep less. I lived in America for a long time before I started working as an actor. Some actors show up on set and have never done an American accent before. So they rely on a slew of technical mechanisms. Part of what makes an accent is understanding why people speak that way. You have to understand the culture. I'm a veteran of looking at an opportunity and knowing whether it will take me forever or not. You won't know you got to the top until you get there. It turns out that you make your own luck, but you work hard to keep it. Their confidence becomes shattered in an instant because they don't have an abundance mindset. When you have an abundance mindset and you get rejected, it's okay because you tell yourself tomorrow, I will find 10 other jobs or I will find 10 other new people. I love working. I'm a workaholic and I'm really privileged for some of the jobs I get offered. And so I just want to keep going. My definition of badass is that I'm a force of nature in true spirit. I'm self admitting that. And it sounds vain to say that, but I am. I've been poor my whole life. So now I don't really do things based on money. I do things on authenticity of how I feel. Look whoever you're talking to in the eyes. Don't look away. Two reasons. You can tell whether they are lying. Also, so that they can see whatever you're saying you mean and you can connect to that person. I was always a real athletic kid. Then when I got older, I just figured it was part of life to keep training. I try to fit in workouts whenever I can. If I can see myself doing it, I can do it. It's important that people just go. 
lose the boundaries, lose the conformity, and just go for it. My father always told me that a fool at 40 is a fool for life. I've always had ambition and the acting was successful and it put my name on the map, but it was never the plan to stop there. I'd rather a young black actor read about success as opposed to how tough it was. I get these roles because I can act and that's it. Hopefully that's it. What really excites me in a project is when it goes in a way you haven't been before. I love to talk about nothing. It's the only thing I know anything about. You get a reputation for answering phones and all they do is ring. I come from an era in my world where you just had to define yourself as who you are and what you do. That's the thing about people. They always find ways to surprise you. Fear nothing. Do what you want to do. But be educated and intelligent and confident about it. Know what your target is. Don't guess it. If you don't know what your targets are, you're never going to get there. I watch my daughter wanting to be like other kids and getting upset that she's not. But I always try and instill in her the idea that she's perfect as she is. I'm an ambitious person. I never considered myself in competition with anyone. And I'm not saying that from an arrogant standpoint. It's just that my journey started so, so long ago. And I'm still on it. And I won't stand still. When you come from an underprivileged background, oftentimes you feel a little overwhelmed by your education or your lack of. Waking up in truth is so much better than living in a lie. I've been DJing mostly and most DJs end up producing. That's just me. Nobody likes a celebrity DJ for the sake of style. So I don't do that. I try to be good at what I do. It's all about resetting. It's my escape. It is work, it's a job, but I just love doing it. The other thing I think is important is to keep your head down. Bond. It is a bit like saying, do you want to play Superman? Anyone would dream of it 
it's one of the most coveted roles in film. I'd be honored. But I don't know if it will actually happen. I'm just happy with the idea of being associated with it. It's nice. There's a lot of goodwill. I'm never shaken or stirred. I'm rebelling against being handed a career like you're the next this, you're the next that. I'm not the next anything. I'm the first me. I can't be myself. I can't just be Idris Elba. But that's just the nature of the business. We're all human beings. Experience is experience. Let's just be honest. Let's not try and dissect suffering into a race or whatever you want to call it. We're all human beings, one way or another. All races have gone through times that are challenging. That's part of being a human. Every single film I've done, it's about the character. There are things that I really find important and that we need to remind ourselves of. When you think about disability, do you really think about it? Someone who's got a full-time trainer or a boxer Someone who's got a major disability, but who doesn't let it get in his way. That's a really good message for someone who is able-bodied. It can make them think, wow, I suppose I could be doing better for myself. 